Hello guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Black Ops 4 for the PC. In this video, I'll be talking about how to counter those friggin' snipers. So in this game, there were quite a lot of snipers in this game. I think two or three of the six players were snipers here. Um, and it was definitely annoying turning the corner or uh, get, getting into open areas only to be sniped by these by these players. And they're they're actually pretty good. Um, you know, nothing nothing against them. It's just extremely annoying to to be killed by a sniper, and it's one of the reasons why I don't use snipers because it is it is extremely frustrating to use. So in this video, I'm rocking the SOG 9mm without the dual wield just because I want to have the accuracy uh, for any anything mid range, and I have the shotgun to switch into the last minutes in case uh, I run out of ammo uh, in an engagement. So basically, the strategy you want to be doing here is you want you always want to be jumping around. Um, wait, possibly waiting for you know other your other teammates to come help you out. But you want to be sliding and jumping around, moving left and right, left and right, trying to be as unpredictable as possible. That way, um, when the enemy is aiming down their sights on a specific corridor or area that they know that you're coming through, you're gonna be coming through that area very quickly, very swiftly, and in a way that uh, they're not expecting. And that's what that's what you want to do to counter snipers. The other way, obviously, is to snipe yourself, but I myself am not a great sniper at all, that's why I opted for this option and exactly there you go, that's what happens. You always want to be moving, being unpredictable as possible. And by doing this, you're, you're also allowing um, your teammates to, to, to get possible kills because the snipers will be focused on trying to catch you jumping around and everything. Um, you also possibly uh, ruin, their, ruin their flow. Um, if, even if you get that one kill, um, you know it stops them from from get, getting on fire and you know possibly getting score streaks or um, anything to to help them get an advantage in the match. The game mode that I'm playing is domination, so you can clearly see that they're not capturing. All they're doing is sniping, um, which makes it a bit easier to to anticipate where they're going to be sniping from because there's only about three breakpoints um, in this map. So, you know, whenever you're in that area, you always have to be aware that there's probably going to be a sniper aiming down sights there. But as you can see, uh, the with the SOG 9mm or any submachine gun for that matter, you're, you're very mobile, extremely mobile. And um, use that to your advantage. Use it so that you're moving around the map quickly and it's harder for them to uh, put their sights on you. For the really skilled snipers, it's it's probably not really going to matter how fast you are or how much movement you make. They're probably going to get you anyways. Um, but uh, I think it's better than uh, trying to fight them head on with an assault rifle or an LMG because the really good snipers will, as soon as they see you, you're going to get sniped and that's a one shot, one kill. So this is the match that I played. This is the match where I decided to use this class to counter the, the snipers in this match. And in the match previous to this, I wasn't using this setup. I was using an assault rifle, the KN, and we were getting murdered. So I decided to switch it up in this match, the following match. Uh, the snipers were a party, um, and I just wanted to counter them hard uh, with this class setup. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Take it easy, guys.
They're gone. Look easy. 